friends, welcome back to my channel. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button right below. And right next to it is a bell notification. That is so you can receive videos every time I drop them. So go ahead and click the subscribe and the bell button to be a part of the notification game. So today, this video is a get to know me video. Um, Q&A, things you didn't know, same thing. So let's get started. thing that you all would know about me is I enjoy makeup and beauty okay so we're not going to talk about any of the things that you obviously know about me on the surface i.e makeup beauty hair all of that we're not gonna get into that so today we're going to get into the things that people really don't know about me the first thing that people don't know about me is I am a writer I found my passion for writing as a child. I used to watch so many shows. I watched Family Matters. I watched Rugrats, Hey Arnold, all the Nickelodeon cartoons. I wasn't really a Disney kid, which is kind of surprising. Um, but yeah, Rugrats, Hey Arnold, Doug, uh, Sister Sister. I love Sister Sister. Um, smart guy, just all of that. And I absolutely fell in love with those shows. And I wanted to be on those shows. I even wanted to be a rug rat. <laughs> so I um, got super, super inspired by watching those shows. And also in elementary, I believe I was in fourth or fifth grade, maybe uh, more so fifth grade, we all had this assignment and we all had to turn the, uh, what do you call them, little folks tales. We had to turn the folks tales and we had to take the folks tales and basically put our own little spin on it. So my group had the tortoise and the hare and there was a, a guy named Sylvester in our group. So we put a spin on our title. So our title was Silver and the Hare. And I wrote out the script, nobody else wanted to write it. So I was like, okay, cool, go ahead and do it. And it turned out to be really fun. It was the most memorable, fun project in elementary to me. So. That was my first little script slash project that I did and I absolutely loved it. That is when I fell in love with writing and writing scripts. As I grew up, I still had that love for writing scripts. When I graduated, I wanted to move to LA. I wanted to move to LA to pursue my acting career. Remember, I told my mom that I wanted to move to LA, and she was like, no. She went at it. So um, I tried to convince her. I was like, Oh, this is this is my dream. I need to go to LA. That's where uh, dreams are made. That's where actors and actresses go and start their careers. She went at it, child. So I stayed in good old Texas. be met um i had i had, what did i have in my bio on instagram i had something about script writing and filming or whatever in my bio and he followed me and he read that and he dm'd me and he had this script that he wrote um he he's a writer too so he had that script he had a script that he wrote and he asked me to read it and critique it and give him some feedback so that's how we you know made a connection Writing is the passion of both of ours, and I know that's not uh, something that a lot of people know, because a lot of people know, you know, him for writing and doing projects and directing and you know all this and that. But little do they know, that's how we connected. That's the that's the gist on writing. It is definitely a passion of mine. It is my end goal. I do want to eventually become. I do eventually want to become a film director, a little acting here and there, that's fine, but I do want to write, I do want to produce, 
you know, I do want to direct. That is my end goal. That is my passion. That is my life's desire. So, with that being said, this channel is called Love, Looks, and Life by Raquel. Of course, I'm Raquel. That is my middle name. My first name is Mercedes. Yeah, my channel is called Love, Looks, and Life. I've been given a whole lot of looks. Um, I gave one love. I'm going to be to add some more love into that. Uh, I've been thinking about adding more love, but I'm kind of like really private when it comes to my relationship. So some things I'm okay with sharing. A lot of things I'm not, hence why there's only one video on, on love. So I'm, I'm going to sort that out. Uh, but more life is definitely, definitely, definitely coming. It is in the works. Be on the lookout for it. Number two is beauty, and I did say that we're not gonna talk about the obvious, but I'm gonna expound on it a little bit. Okay, so beauty, I've always enjoyed beauty. Ever since I was a little girl, I had a lot of Barbies. Me and my sister, we always had a lot of Barbies, and we would play together. She didn't like to play with me, she was a hater. Uh, I was great with my Barbies, I was great to play with. She was delusional. So, seen her drawing makeup on her Barbies with a pen so I was like oh okay that look cute so I went ahead and started drawing on my Barbies with pens or whatever and I was like oh this is so cute this is really fun and then I started experimenting with their hair I had this little curling iron that I got from my mom it was the barrel was super 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 skinny or tiny so I guess you feel comfortable enough for me to have it um so I used to just take the curling iron and give my Barbies, you know, some little Shirley Temple spiral curls and all that. It was super, super fun. I would take them to the beauty salon and I would wash their hair in some dishwashing liquid or some, some bath soap. It was great. It was great. I loved it. Loved it, loved it, loved it, loved it, loved it. So at that point, I was like, ooh, I'm going to do hair. I'm going to be a petition. And I also grew up seeing my mom and my sister do different things like I watched my sister do her makeup a lot I watched my mom do her hair I watched my mom do my hair when she was doing it um my mom she always did different stuff with her hair changed colors haircut all that she's always been into that um sisters same way so they play a big role in my upbringing with beauty and me being into it like I am I never expressed interest in too not too much of anything else like as far as career go I've always talked about like beauty and then writing film directing all of that I never said anything about doctor lawyer science any of that I've always been on the same two lanes number three I am a lover of music I absolutely love music I love um or I like <laughs> I like every every genre but I really do love R&B, gospel, um, old school R&B, some uh, hip hop but um, and I like to throw in some classical music here and there so fun fact I love the theme song to Pirates of the Caribbean or Caribbean how you can see it tomato tomato show business I love that song like sometimes going to bed I also love to listen to music before I go to bed but um, sometimes I'll throw that in there in my mix and I'll listen to it a couple of times. I just love it. Um, I remember I was in band in middle school. I got into band sixth grade and I played the clarinet. My sister was also in band. She played flute. My brother was in band. He was in percussion on the drums and I believe my daddy, he played the saxophone. So we have a history of band in our family. Um, so yeah, I played the clarinet. And I believe it was either in middle school or early high school. We played the uh, Pirates of the Caribbean song. I absolutely loved it. It was fun. I played a lot of exhilarating songs back then. It was it was great. I loved it. Uh, I'm a band nerd. If, if that's what you want to say, I, I'm a band nerd. Whatever. Proud band nerd over here. in the band from 6th grade 
up until my sophomore year in high school and then I took a break because I was at a new school so I was like okay let me just get into something different so I took a break from band and then I got into cheerleading and that was second part of my junior year and then senior year and then my first my first semester my first year of college I didn't do band the second year I went back on a scholarship with band and I was pretty darn nervous because I had not practiced since I put that clarinet down in um, my sophomore year in high school. Granted, I played a few times here and there at my church I grew up in. They made me play at the altar call. Child, if you grew up Baptist, they always made you do stuff that you didn't want to do. Like, what? why? Why? If I, we don't want to do it, we don't want to do it. But if we say we don't want to do it, we gonna get knocked in the middle of next week. So we gotta do it. But anyway, um, I played at, at church here and there until I finally put it down for good. So when it was time for me to audition, being a true procrastinator I am, I waited. I waited like a week before my audition to actually practice, or maybe a, a week and a half. But it, it wasn't super, it, it wasn't a lot of time, it wasn't enough time. So I was like, man, I'm not going to get the scholarship. I'm going to blow it. Oh, I'm so disappointed at myself. But when I picked the clarinet back up and I started practicing, it was like riding a bike. It all came back. And I was like, okay, whew, I can breathe. I got it. I picked up on the music very well. I believe it was one to two sheets of audition music. No, definitely no more than two. So I looked at it. I rehearsed it. I got it auditioned and then I got the scholarship. I was glad that I picked up my clarinet that one last time and did that. It was it was great. For dancing, I love to dance. I'm not a professional dancer, but I do enjoy music and I do enjoy dancing. So um I didn't go to an HBCU but uh, if I did go to an H HBCU, I definitely, definitely wanted to be a major red. I thought the little outfits were cute. I thought they were cute. The dance moves are just out of this world. I definitely, definitely, definitely wanted to be a major red. Um, and I also wanted to pledge as well. And I always say if I pledge, I would probably pledge Delta, um, which will probably be a surprise to some of y'all as well. But I did say that I want to pledge Delta if I ever went to an HBCU. At number five, last but not least, singing. Okay, so disclaimer. When it comes to singing, I'm very, 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 very shy, reserved. Um, I don't feel like I have a distinctive voice or tone, so um, that's why I'm not so quick to just sing out in front of people. I don't know. I guess I'm hard on myself, child. I don't know because I, I'm the only one who feels like that about my singing. Nobody else has told me that. Um, but I'm super, super shy, and I am okay with singing in the choir and in the background. I grew up like that in my childhood church. I always sang in the choir. I still, uh, I still do sing in the choir. I did take a little break because I was pregnant. I actually enjoy singing with my sister the most i miss it i am the most comfortable when i sing with her like we can sing together in unison or if you know i take my part she take her part and we come back together and sing that's cool like we can have our own little girl group and do, <laughs> and do that um i can even be in a girl group with her and you know some other girls like i've always wanted to be in a girl group secretly i don't talk about them <laughs> i don't talk about that much but Secretly deep down inside, I'm always going to be in girl group. It just looks, I don't know, it looks fun. So those were all of the interesting, fun facts about me. Facts that you may not have known. I actually really enjoyed doing this. Probably should have done it sooner. So if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Hit that bell notification so you can get all notifications when I drop a video. Like, comment, and share on this video. I will see you guys in the next video.